Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check it out Bowl and Score from Low, a Milton Bradley company. This is for ages 8 to adult. It's going to take you about 5 to 15 minutes to play. And in Bowl and Score, you're going to be taking this nice little dice cup. You're going to be rolling up dice, and you're going to be rolling the dice, trying to simulate going bowling. This is going to be your typical 10-frame, 10 10-pin 10 bowling game where you're going to try to hit strikes, hit spares, and beat your opponents. It's quick, it's simple, but is it good? Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. Alright then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Bowling Score. So first and foremost, we get our handy dandy rule book. It is just what you see right here. It's very straightforward. It'll show you how to play the game and it gives you an example of um, how the game is played and how you're supposed to score things. And it does a very good job of doing that. It should have you up and running in no time at all. Also, if you bowled pretty frequently, you should know how to do this very simply. So in Bowl and Score, you are going to have these sheets of paper, which are double-sided, by the way. Very nice touch right there. And you are going to be playing a bowling game. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how it works. So I'll put my name in here, and we'll get this thing popping. So you're also going to get this dice cup right here which will have 10 dice in them and the dice are pretty simple they're going to be six sided dice with one side having a bowling pin and the other side being blank and what you're hoping to see are the bowling uh the blank side so let's just roll it up oh that's a strike so bada boom fill it in get myself a strike keep on keep on so this time we got ourselves an eight not the best start not the best start so fill in a little eight right there and i only roll these two additional dice that weren't uh, that worked blank. So we fill, fill that in with a spare, which now means we have 20 points on the first frame and a spare in the second frame. Let's go ahead and do it again. Boom, nine. So we put the nine there, 39. Roll this up. Hopefully we get the spare. Oh, we didn't open frame. That's the worst. So we'd be at 48. Um, pretty self-explanatory game. If you know how to bowl and you know how the scoring in bowling works, then you should be able to figure this out really quickly. And if not, then the rule booklet actually does a very thorough job of explaining exactly how this works. So uh, there you go. That's Bowl and Score. All right then, Bowl and Score from Low, a Milton Bradley company. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, the game's not going to be for everybody for any variety of different reasons. First, the more players you have in the game, the longer the game will go. That's a pretty obvious thing, though. Uh, the game still does not say it's welcome because it's really pretty quick, but still something that I wanted to mention. The biggest con most people are going to have with this game is the fact that it is 110% completely random. There is nothing, nothing, nothing you can do in this game to change what is going to happen in this game, aside from cheating. You could cheat, but other than that, nothing you do is going to control whether or not you win or lose. It is all in the luck of the dice, which will be a big turnoff to some people. Also, this game might be somewhat difficult to find because uh, it is an older game, so it might be out of print. And, um... Yeah, I mean, as long as you go into it knowing that it is completely random, Bowl and Scores holds a special spot in my heart. And I was a little bit concerned about this. I used to play this as a kid with my mom, and we used to play this a lot. I remember playing this by myself even as a kid, so I was big into bowling. And I was worried, is this game going to hold up? Because I played a lot of games from when I was a kid and from when I was younger, and they did not hold up. But this one does. Now, is this a great game? No, and that's why it has the, the score down below, because it's not a great game. It's an okay game. This is not a game, I wouldn't even say this is a good game, because it is just pure and simple rolling dice and doing that over and over and over and over and over again and seeing what happens. But that's entertaining, and it's fun to play with other people and try to beat them. Now, this is probably a lot of nostalgia on my part, and this is probably a lot of uh, a lot of just the fact that I love bowling. So if you don't love bowling, no, obviously this is not going to be for you. And if you don't think you would like a game where you're just going to roll dice and see what happens, then no, this one's not going to be for you. But if you have family who do do does like bowling, or if you have a kid who does like bowling, and I'd say this is probably for ages five plus. I played this with my four year old, so ages four plus. Because uh, all they have to do is roll the dice and you can figure out everything else. They have to understand the concept of bowling. I think this is a okay to good family game. I think this is an okay to good gateway game. I think this is an okay good to good game for people who like bowling. So in the end, bowling score, is it amazing? Is it even great? No, unfortunately it's not. But it's okay to good. And sometimes that'll do it. 
So it is Bowl and Score from Lowe, a Milton Bradley company. I wonder why Milton Bradley just didn't do it themselves. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know what's your highest bowling score roundabout. Uh, for me personally, uh, in real life, obviously, I think the highest I ever got was probably about a 150 maybe at the very peak of my bowling prowess. I used to go bowling uh, for like three hours a week. And I think I probably hit 150 once or twice. And that my strategy was totally jacked up. Like I was never going any higher than that. I would start at the the very right point of the lane, and I would run, like literally run towards the line and throw the ball as fast as I could, just throw, as fast as I could, and throw it at an angle so it would shoot toward the middle of the pens. And my logic was by hitting it so incredibly hard, you know, you'd have those pins flying around and you'd knock a bunch of stuff over. And it actually worked. Uh, it actually did work. I got a lot of strikes and I got a lot of spares. I also got a lot of uh, gunner balls too because sometimes you throw it a little too hard, a little too soft. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what is your highest score roundabout in bowling. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.